Hello viewers, this is Dao Too Fast here. A friend of mine just dropped off her car at my place. And as you can see, there are some damages to the front end. And she wanted me to help her out to see if I can put this bumper back in its place. Also, the front end here is damaged. There's not much I can do here. Uh, supposedly, she hit a trailer hitch and that's what happened. But there's nothing mechanically wrong. But the main thing is for me to see if I can put this bumper back in so it doesn't start shaking when you're driving on the highway. By the way, this is a Kia Optima. Now that I'm taking a closer look at this vehicle, when the impact happened on the front, it actually pushed this side out and also pushed this side out too. So let's open the hood. Now if you look on the passenger side, this bumper is actually higher than the headlight itself. So I can't just push this back in. It's going to hit the headlight, so I'm going to need to remove the bumper. Also the impact was pretty big because you can see the clip on the headlight. This is totally loose now, it's missing clips. I've gone ahead and removed all the plastic clips. Now I'm removing the two bolts holding the intake duct. Next, I'll go underneath and remove all the screws. If I pull back this piece, you'll see the headlight is actually completely broken off. That's where the crack is. Same as here. This part of the bracket on the headlight. And here is the other bracket. I just want to say I hate these clips that they use. You would think, use a Phillips screwdriver and just unscrew this. No, it keeps spinning and spinning and spinning. So you end up having to use a pry tool to pry this out. And it's a pain in the butt. I've wasted so much time getting these stupid clips out. Okay, it's time for JB weld. I want to make some JB weld here and then reattach the broken tabs on this. Here's a look at the piece. I'll just let this dry. All right, it's been about half an hour. I'm gonna put this back in. Be very gentle. So let me show you something on this corner here that keep on popping out. There should be a plastic tab right at this corner. There's a bolt that goes in from the bottom here and secures it to this part on the fender. However, if you look on here, everything snapped off. There's nothing there. So what I'll do to keep this in place is to drill two small holes on the edge right here and it'll be on the inside edge so you won't see it from the outside. And then I'm gonna use tie wraps and secure it onto this liner. And this liner is very solid and it's not moving. So once I secure this onto the liner, then this should not pop out anymore. So here you see I drill the two holes.
I've gone ahead and put everything back together and this is pretty much the best I can do for her at this time. A lot of the brackets behind the bumper on the headlights are broken so I'm not able to fit the bumper perfectly. But the most important thing is the passenger headlight is now secured and the corner of the bumper on the passenger side is not sticking out anymore. With the way it is right now, nothing's gonna fall off but cosmetically it doesn't look the greatest but the owner just wants a car that can get her from A to B and that's it and that's why she doesn't want to put any money into repairing the bumper as for the hole in the front of the bumper I heated it up, pushed it back in and the last thing I was asked to do is to stick this right over here well I hope you enjoy watching this video it's always nice to be able to help people and I thought you might be interested in seeing how to do some minor repair. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching.